good YouTube, Luke's Comics, uh, doing my second video, and I uh, got some pointers uh, from some fellow YouTubers on uh, how to make it better, and so get better light, cameras closer. Um, this is my second attempt, so we're starting off great. Um, we had dogs and kids and everything going on before, so we had to stop, and I had already opened the package. So, uh, it's from Casablanca Comics. We're doing, a, uh, we're doing an unboxing video, and I got a couple packages here, working on the stack, making my way through. Um, I've forgotten what a lot of these are, so might surprise myself with what's in here. I did just uh, open the box. So I'm not going to be able to do that again. It was great packaging. I already yeeted it over there. Stealing Andy's phrase. Yeeted it over there. And, um, yeah, got it all open. Great. There was no dead space. You know, no dead comics. And, uh, and here we go. Also, representing the Monster Squad. Greatest movie of all time. All right. So... So this is from my uh, LCS, Casablanca Comics. They have a Wednesday night um, auction and claim sale. And uh, I'm there all, every Wednesday. It's on Facebook, so it's great. And these are some of the books I picked up from there, and I think some FOC stuff. So anyway, here's the first one. It is from 1993. Robin number one, and this is double signed, and it's foil. Look at that. Foil, just trying to show off the sheen, the shininess. Double signed. Uh, certificate of Authenticity on the back. Robin number one, autographed by Scott Hanna and Chuck Dixon. Limited edition of 5,000. This is number 3,438 of 5,000. It's foil. Pretty cool. Let's see here. Oh, here we go. This is the complete run, I think, of Secret Wars. This is from 2015, right? And I've got some of these already, which I bought. Um, this is kind of a bulk package from Casablanca, which is cool. I just got to go through and bag and board all these. Um, this is kind of a spec play too, because, uh, allegedly this is, if they do Secret Wars, this is the storyline. So that'll be interesting to see. Got Miles on there. Fantastic Four, Spider-Woman, Captain Marvel, The Inhumans, Namor. I mean, they could do They could do a lot. That's a cool cover of this number one. Miles, once, once Miles, I mean, he's already been on the screen, but in animated form. But once he hits live action, I think all the Miles stuff's going to blow up. Ultimate Fallout 4 which I have a second print at CGC, hopefully. That'll be 9.8. It's very crispy. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this. This is, uh, yeah, Original Sin. One through, one through eight. Full run. This is cool. I forgot some of the stuff that I was able to win. Great packaging here. Struggling with the tape. Tape struggle. Oh, okay. I see. Anyway. I have some issues here with number one because I think I just taped the cover. Anyway. Original Sin. Second video is going real great. So there's there's the number one. 
which I just taped the cover to the packaging. Issue two. That up. Gotta use the scissors of power. Number one. All these are very minty. Number three. Interested in reading the series. I never got to read it when it came out. Number four. Whoa. Almost had a catastrophe. Number five. That's a cool cover. Covers are banging. Wow. Very cool. Number seven. Number seven. Lucky number seven. Original sin. The Watcher. The Final Judgment. Number eight. That's a cool cover. Speaking of The Watcher, what do you guys think of uh, What If on Disney Plus? Pretty cool. I think I've only watched two so far, though. So I got some catching up to do on that for sure. All right, let's see what else we got here. Oh, and I guess here's number zero, which wasn't packed with the others, but that's a cool cover. And it's got Nova, original sin zero, who is the watcher. Very cool, very minty. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Oh, this is a classic cover. Any guesses? Any guesses? This is Iron Man, number 128, Demon in a Bottle. Famous cover there, Tony Stark. It's a pretty minty copy, but it's got, it's got some stain. It got a stain on the back. Definitely could use a clean and a press. I would say it's like a 7-0. Very cool. And I, I can't remember what the price was on that, but it was seemed like it was a good deal, so. Oh, yes. I'm looking to get into this series. I don't think I'm going to read, crack this one open, because this looks very, very good, and it's going to look awesome in a slab. This is Eat the Rich, number one. This is the unlockable variant. And this black, all black cover with the red. It's banging. It's really cool. The glare, sorry about that. But it's very minty. Definitely looks like a 9 8 all day long, but you never know now with CGC. Oh, yeah. I remember this one. I was happy to win this one. This is Blade number one. This is from. This is definitely 90s. I don't see the year. 
the greatest vampire slayer ever in an all-new series of undead adventures. That cover is pretty sweet. And this is like near mint minus, near mint plus. It's pretty cool. It's got like one spine tick though. Other than that, it's pretty sweet. I'm happy about that one. I like Blade. I like all the monsters. Werewolf by Night. Man Thing. Ghost Rider. This is a sweet cover. All new Wolverine number one. I don't think that's a variant. No, it is a variant. Uh, number one annual variant cover. Very cool. All black. Another one of those Marvel all black covers. Looks looks like it hasn't even been read ever. All right. This looks like oh, this one's from Skeff. Skeff's comic knowledge. Shout out. Skeff always has a great. Uh, whatnot auction and so does Andy uh, comic man Andy and Skeps comic knowledge on YouTube go ahead and subscribe and like their videos subscribe to their channels it's pretty cool they really you know the guys that really got me back into comics after check finding their videos and watching them and then watching Mr. Miracle Comics is really great, Dave, and uh, and then I, you know, on whatnot, I've discovered some really cool uh, sellers on there, uh, like Ziggy uh, on uh, Nostalgia Source. He's got some great auctions. But this was from one of Skeff's whatnot auctions. Always great packaging by Skeff. So let's see what we got here. I was trying not to cut myself. Oh, let's see, look at this. <laughs> He's got it all set. I mean, look at that. There's no dead space. No dead space. And it says hashtag Skeff's Comic Knowledge. Nice branding, Skeff. Yeet. All right. Yeet. All right, let's see what we got. About primo packaging. Safety scissors are being too safe right now. Let's see. Oh. I'm telling you right now, man. Skeff is Skeff and Andy, but they both. This packaging is crazy. I mean, in Casablanca had great packaging. I think, you know. People that obviously are into comics and in the comic business treat packaging really primo, which is awesome. I mean, bubble wrap for days, eat that. You can tell it's from Skeff because look at that. Look at that mug. Look at that beard. I mean, my beard's pretty good, but uh, Andy and Skeff definitely crushed that on the, me on the beard front there. Yeet. Oh, and the dogs are barking again. You have to forgive me because, uh, you know, there's construction going on outside, which is always great. And they're doing it at nighttime, which is awesome. And I've got a giant, I've got two giant dogs. So when they bark, it sounds like the hounds of the Baskervilles. All right. Okay, so... This is Batman Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one. That's a cool cover. I think I got that for my son, so for sure. Definitely going to be giving him that for his collection. I'm trying to get him into comics. He really likes Turtles and Batman, so that's like awesome. Um, High Republic, Star Wars High Republic number seven variant cover. Very cool. They do a lot of different variants on this series. 
but very minty. Yes, another Eat the Rich. This is, I think, cover A, if I remember right, I believe. Yeah, that's cool. Then I got the unblockable. I like the black and red scheme. Very cool. This one's very minty. Going to be sending both of those to CGC. Boom Studios. Love Boom Studios. This is origin story of Naomi. Number four. Trying to pick up some DC keys. I'm not a big DC guy, but it seems like Marvel uh, comics and Marvel keys are just like, have exploded. So um, I think it's a good time to try to get some DC keys uh, and just get some DC runs. If you don't have them stuff you've missed out on, I think this was just a really cool cover. I saw Skeff put this on his whatnot, and I'm just like, man. How can you not like Superman? Even though he is uber powered, but. Trying to get that glare out of there. Very cool cover. Sketch cover. Very cool. Jen Bartell. All right. And this is a great series. Been buying copies since they since they came out. So Noctair number one, they're starting to blow up now. And I've got a number of these different variant covers. Just a cool series. And I think it's been picked up. So I don't know if it's coming to theaters or TV. But I saw something. And I remember I scored both of these. I remember this auction. And uh, this this cover's blowing up from the new uh, Werewolf by Night series. Which I believe goes back to a Moon Knight cover. From one of the earlier Moon Knight runs. I remember there being a similar cover. And they did it again for this number one. Kind of homage. And I grabbed both. Not sure what happened there, but I didn't get to show this one. Kaiju score. And this is number one. This is from Aftershock Comics. I dig anything with giant monsters too, so that's cool. Seems like that's picking up a little bit. And then I opened up, I got another package here from Casablanca Comics, which is my local LCS. Local LCS, that's redundant. Again, it's my LCS. And uh, always great packaging. Look at that. Again, from Claim Sale. Wednesday night. And really do a fine job packing this. Get to reuse this bubble wrap, which is awesome. Oh man, we really got this good. When it comes to attaching to the comic, so I'm more of a blue tape guy. Like when I pack my stuff, I sell on Mercari, and uh, I'm hoping to do a whatnot auction at some point here, but it's got to find the time to. Uh, gather a stack of books up that I think people would like and just run it do some dollar starts and uh, just let them fly maybe have a couple buy nows on there but we'll see great packaging ooh I see some foil on this one all right got a board let's see ooh, here we go I got some 2099 goodness here we got Ghost Rider, $20.99. Look at that. It's just shiny as all get out. Very minty. Seems like the $20.99s are blowing up. Add that to my collection. This might be the one. There might be a gold X-Men $20.99 here. I know I've got one of those 
um, the gold variant. Typically, they're the blue, and then the golds were harder to find, but I, and I hadn't seen a gold in a while, and then they had one. This one, I love X-Men. So this is X-Men 137. Very, very nice copy. Phoenix must die. I mean, this is, it's got one little, I don't even know what you'd call that. But I think after a press, it'd be pretty sweet. Get that slabbed. Oh, yes, here it is. It's actually, I mentioned this to Andy when we were, he was doing his bag and board live. There it is, X Men 2099 gold foil. Look at that 90s goodness. Love the 90s and the foils, man. Love all the Berserker foils. Those are great. Oh, this are let's try to get a piece. Kind of shift it around. I think these were I got these because they were early Punisher appearances. This is a uh, Peter Parker Spectacular Spider Man, number eighty three. I'm a fan of the Punisher for sure. There he is, Frank the Tank. Very good book. Looks to be in very good shape. It's like black cats on there. Here's another one. I think I got both of these because they were both... I want to say there's two of these. Yep, another one. This is another early Punisher appearance. I can't afford the Amazing Spider-Man first appearance, but I love the Punisher. Such a sad story, but you just love, like, revenge stories are just... Like, who doesn't like a good revenge story? Revenge movie, revenge comic... Here's another Peter Parker Spe uh, Spectacular Spider-Man 81. That other one was number 82. This has Cloak and Dagger on it. Oh yes, I'm a big Wolverine fan. Probably my favorite character. Uh, Daredevil's right up there too. Uh, Spider-Man versus Wolverine number one. This is like... This looks like it's mint on red. I think that's my favorite Wolverine costume. The brown. Brown and yellow. Brown and gold. Eastman and Laird's Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles number one from 1987. It's a pretty sweet copy. Give me some turtles. And there's the main connection as well. Like the state. Alright. Oh, this is cool. And this is a signed copy of X4, uh, X Factor, sorry. Number 92, Fatal Attractions. With the hologram signed. Very cool. Got the signature right there. Certificate of authenticity on the back. Dynamic forces. X Factor 92 signed by Joe Caseda. Pretty cool. Almost dropped it. Like there was a, there were some great books this, on this auction. Fantastic Four number two forty four. One of the ones I don't have. Oh, great cover. Definitely has a little wear on it, but. Mm. Packing slip. I think these are FOCs, yeah. These are the, some of the Dark Ages covers I got. 
And I definitely, uh, I want to say it's like Izzy's Comics had a pre-order uh, of Dark Ages, the Miles Morales um, Ultimate Fallout homage variant cover that I got. I ordered slabbed. Supposed to be a 9-8, we'll see. These are the ones that I got that my LCS had for FOC, so pretty cool. Very minty Spider-Man's definitely torn up there. Human Torch cap. I think and this is cover A. That's a cool cover. First appearance of the Unmaker, right? I think it's the villain. It'd be interesting to see. Man, they got some, they got some stuff here that they could do some really cool stuff. The MCU, but anyway. So that's what I got for the unboxing tonight. I have a bunch more, but I'm trying to spread them out a little bit. Do a couple videos. Anyway, this is Luke's Comics, and uh, thank you to Skeff for your packaging and the sticker. Awesome. And uh, everybody else um, that's been so welcoming. And uh, Comic Man Andy's really kind of like behind the scenes helped me out, try to figure out this whole YouTube thing and give me some pointers. And Skeff and, and everybody else that's watched the, the five people that have watched the first, the first video, how epically bad it was. But um, we'll keep doing them and see how it goes. And, uh, yeah, Luke's Comics, uh, you know, collect what you like and like what you collect. I think that's why I said on the first video. Let's see. Let's hope. All right. Catch you later.